that day we are having another four or five more days. <laughs> okay, the days are very here. Yeah. Um, very good evening, one hundred percent here. I'm happy to welcome uh, today's speaker, Dr. Uh, Sadhvi Nimal. She is an assistant professor of the Department of Psychology, Mental Health, uh, MHLM of the Institute of Mental Health and Rehabilitation, Madurai. Uh, she is going to talk about the important topic, healthy boundaries in our profession as well as in our social life. Many of us, we are having different ideas about the boundaries and we um, validate those things are correct. But I, fortunately, I can say that there are many people having misconceptions about that. Very few of the people having that clear cut understanding about the healthy boundaries. And today, with us, um, Sadhguru Imam, she is going to talk about the topic. I hope after the session, you will understand that. Okay, so these were the things I had, and these are the things I need to modify or change in my daily practices in, in both settings, especially for your profession as well as in your social uh, uh, life. I welcome the today's resource person, all the uh, co team members, and the participants who. For today's webinar session, it is on 414th webinar session uh, on behalf of the Department of Psychology, American College of Madurai, and Meadows School of Social Work, Chennai, MN Chalamuthi Institute, Madurai, Psycho Oncological Association, Turkey, and Red Pond Education Psychology Research Center. I welcome wholeheartedly each one of you for today's webinar session. And uh, uh, I think I, I given that uh, input regarding Satvi Ma'am. Dr. Chandra, would you like to say something about her? Yeah, sir, I'm very much uh, pleased and happy to introduce Mrs. Sadhvi Nirmal. Uh, she is currently working as assistant professor at MS Chellamutha Institute of uh, Mental Health and Rehabilitation. She is also a part-time faculty at uh, Madurai Kamaraj University in the Department of Psychology. And she's also a part-time faculty at uh, Kasim uh, B. V. Kader, Abdul Kader College for Women. And she has finished her MSc in Applied Psychology at Women's Christian College, Chennai. So she has also done her uh, project as a counselor in Happy Schooling Project. And uh, she has also been working as a student professor in Madurai Institute of uh, Social Sciences in the Department of Psychology. She is currently a PhD scholar at MS Chalamutu Institute of uh, Mental Health and Rehabilitation. And along with this, she has done an extensive study on uh, career plateauing of employees, emotional intelligence and parenting styles. And thus she has constructed a scale on career plateauing for employees in India. So this is all about uh, Mr. Sadhvi Nirmal, the resource person of today's session. And we all know that boundaries are very important in sports. You know, to win or lose depends on hitting the boundaries. So not only in games, it is also very important in our lives, either it be personal, professional, or social. So today we have a resource person who's gonna give uh, light on uh, healthy boundaries in personal, professional, and social setup. Thank you so much for accepting our request, uh, Mrs. Sadhvi Nirmal. And without further ado, I hand over the session to you. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Suresh Kumar sir and uh, Chandra ma'am for your uh, warm welcome and uh, introduction. So uh, I would first like to thank uh, Suresh Kumar sir because this is my third uh, time presenting in the webinar series. So thank you very much sir for the wonderful opportunity. And uh, also, I should thank uh, Chandra ma'am for the <laughs> timely help. So, actually, my uh, laptop actually crashed, so I couldn't uh, use my laptop now. So, I'm currently connected through my mobile phone. So, uh, kindly uh, bear with it, and I will not be able to uh, uh, turn on my video. I'll try to, but uh, I don't think I can, I'll be able to turn on my video. Fine. So, uh, and Chandra ma'am will be presenting my uh, PPT, and I'll be... Uh, talking about that yes so we'll uh, we'll move into the topic so uh, my topic for today is healthy boundaries and we are going to see how uh, healthy boundaries is going to affect like how uh, we should maintain healthy boundaries in social as well as in professional life so when it comes to healthy boundaries first let's see what health is like the first word so what comes to your mind when we say health what do, what uh, comes to your mind we can use we can be interactive yeah so uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, you can also uh, chat put your uh, opinion in the chat box okay so what comes to your mind when we say health so what is health yeah physical and mental well-being physical health yeah so when we talk about health today, we are going to talk about 
both uh, yeah happiness and ability to perform normal tasks and health is a state of overall well-being mental health yeah very good thank you so yes yeah, so today we are going to talk about what are the boundaries we need to maintain in order to um, maintain a healthy uh, physical and social uh, health okay so when it comes to boundaries so what are boundaries like uh, what is boundaries we say uh, boundaries right don't uh, cross the boundaries we say right don't cross the limits so what are those boundaries what is that boundary we say yes limitation yes thank you shri vidya ma'am yeah fine yes a line of limit yes of course yes so uh, ma'am yeah yes so uh, we are going to see the limits okay so what are the limits or boundaries we are going to set in order to maintain our physical and uh, um, uh, and mental health okay so when it comes to boundaries like all like even uh, dogs have boundaries right like even animals have boundaries they have this area okay this is my area and uh, uh, i'll not go behind that or i'll i'll protect my boundary so they have this kind of uh, instinct right they have this uh, this this aspect of boundaries likewise even we human beings have our own boundaries like we have our likes we love we have our dislikes we have our own opinion we have our own values so these are our boundaries so this is what i am so this is what makes who i am so these are my boundaries so like how uh, uh, like how the soldiers and how the uh, military people how they uh, uh, how they protect our country even our country has a certain boundary right so they it's it's been protected like our bo- country's boundary has been protected by our sol- uh, soldiers right so like that uh, when it comes to our boundaries there is no one to protect our boundary right it's only we who have to uh, like protect our boundary and we have to uh, guide, uh, like guard and we have to take care of our own boundaries if you don't ba- maintain any boundaries any such boundaries then what happens others will start exploiting us okay and others uh, will start using us and all that okay so when it comes to healthy boundaries these are the limits and rules we set for ourselves within relationship so these are the rules okay so this is my limit so this is my rules and this is my limitations okay so this is what uh, this is what makes me okay this is my limit so if i go beyond that it's not me so that is the point that is the dividing line which uh, which i make for myself so that is my healthy boundary so that is not my uh, uh, that is not only concerned with one aspect of my life uh, healthy boundaries is the boundaries i make to uh, uh for all the aspects of my life okay so that is the healthy boundaries and a person with hel- healthy boundaries can say no to others okay when they want to but they are also comfortable opening up uh opening themselves up to the intimacy and close relationship so uh, i am a healthy uh, i am a person with healthy boundaries okay so that doesn't mean i cannot have any close uh, relationship with others or uh i cannot uh, i cannot have any any kind of intimate relationship or anything i'm so strict and i have very strict rules i'll not allow anyone to enter my boundary it's not like that okay it's just that healthy boundary a person with healthy boundaries will have their own set of rules and when when someone uh, tries to enter it they'll be uh, comfortable saying no but at the same time they'll also be comfortable having a close relationship and all that so it's not just uh it's not that healthy people with healthy boundaries are very strict and they don't have any friendship at all and they don't have any relationship close relationship at all okay uh next slide ma'am so uh this is a quote so uh, healthy boundaries is where you end and i begin okay so it in a relationship okay in any kind of relationship uh, a healthy boundary is when the other person ends okay so the other person they their role ends okay after this it's me it's only my personal space okay so at one point of time like if they start entering my space if i start entering my space then i i'll protect myself so that is where i begin okay it's it's my personal space it's where i begin yes next yeah so a uh, healthy boundaries are a crucial component of self care okay so we do a lot of things right we do a lot of things for our self care like we do exercise we do uh, uh, a lot of things in order to take we groom ourselves okay and uh, we eat healthy food we do all this for our self care right likewise healthy boundaries is also very uh, crucial okay it's also very important 
uh, for self care okay so only if i maintain my boundaries i'll be uh, i i'll be able to maintain my mental health and i'll be able to maintain my well being okay and i'll be able to take care of myself next one is healthy boundaries are a crucial component of self esteem so only if i have boundaries which means that i have uh, self respect right i respect myself i respect my own choices i respect my values i respect my dislikes okay so uh, having healthy boundaries means i respect myself uh, thus it also impacts in my self esteem okay so um, uh, next uh, self uh, setting boundaries is is an establishing is like establishing our self identity okay yes we all it's like it's who i am okay this is who sadvi is so this is who a particular person is okay so uh, there is nothing to hide about my uh, boundaries or it is nothing to hide about my likes okay so idu da enakku pidiko idu enakku pidikadu okay so there is nothing to hide about that this is who i am okay this is what makes who i am so this is a part of my self identity and uh, i should be uh, i should not be uh, shying away or i should not feel bad in order to uh, express that i have this is uh, this is who i am okay so it's also a cru- uh, crucial aspect of mental health and well being okay so once we allow people to exploit the boundaries we set okay and then uh, we feel guilty okay we think about the days when they uh, treated us badly or we treat about times when someone uh, they exploited our boundaries okay we felt very bad okay so instead of feeling guilty afterwards okay it's very good in, uh, to maintain a healthy boundary and also it will help uh, help us to be uh, uh, stable and help help helps us for the mental well being okay so poor boundaries in our work the same ways in our work as well so when we don't have a proper boundaries in our work or personal relationship it may lead to resentment and anger and burnout okay so if, if for example you don't have boundaries at work at all okay you you just uh, you you just do whatever uh, whatever whomever say allots you any work or whomever gives any work to you you're just accepting because you don't know to you do, you don't want to say no to them or you want to please them okay you just accept whatever the work they give you just accept it okay so what happens you'll have a lot of work right your coworkers will ask for help and uh, you are doing it in order to please them or your 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 supervisor gives you an extra load of work okay so you accept it and you you are accepting each all the all the people's request okay so what happens you'll have a lot of work which leads to the burnout of job okay so if we have proper boundaries we can prevent all this right so setting boundaries helps the employees to avoid burnout and stay in a uh, in the profession longer so if you have good boundaries if you if you have a good uh, Uh, boundaries within your work okay and if you have a proper uh, management of time like uh, this is the time for my work and this is the time for my family if you have a proper time management if, if you have a proper boundary set in your professional work setting then you will be able to uh, you'll be very satisfied with your job and you can avoid burnout and you will also likely to uh, be in the profession for a longer period of time okay so healthy boundaries at work uh, help someone find more satisfaction and less stress in their professional life like i told you next uh, slide yes so when we see people like there are three different types of people okay like when we see people we have three different types of people so first first type of people uh, they are uh, they are seen to have rigid boundaries okay and the second one is people with porous boundaries and the third one is people with healthy boundaries okay so first one is rigid boundary so rigid boundaries are people who have very strict boundaries okay they have very strict rules and regulations and they are very uh, 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 they are very rigid okay with their rules so this is how it is so they are, they have very uh, very strictly laid, laid rules okay next one is porous boundary so porous boundaries are people who don't have any boundaries at all they don't have any boundaries okay they just uh, go with the flow whatever they want to do they'll do okay whatever people ask them to do even if they don't like that thing to be done they just do it okay so they don't have any boundaries at all so there's these people are people with porous boundaries and the next one is the intermediate like between the dividing line between the rigid and the healthy uh, and the porous boundaries which is the healthy boundaries so these are the people who have who maintain a or or a stay or a, or a, or maintain a, or a normal or a balanced or a kind of or a, or a, uh, interactions okay so uh, yes we'll move on next uh, slide 
so we'll see some of the characteristics of all these three boundaries okay so when it comes to rigid boundaries rigid boundaries people have low we'll see them in terms of two aspects one is trust another one is self esteem okay so when it comes to rigid boundaries people they have low trust okay so they don't trust anyone they are very rigid they don't have trust on anyone whereas they have high self esteem they feel that they are the best they have very high self esteem so they just feel that okay i'm uh, i'm enough for me okay i don't need anyone so i'll keep everyone at a distance i'll not talk with anyone i don't want anyone i can live uh, without anyone so that is the kind of attitude the rigid person has so next one is the porous boundary so they have um uh, they have high trust okay so they have high trust on anyone and uh, anyone they see and low self esteem they have very poor self esteem but they trust uh, anyone okay they trust anyone easily so what they do they do anything and everything to please everyone okay so they want to be accepted by everyone okay so they look for happiness in others so all this happens with porous boundary people next one is a healthy boundary people so these are the people who have high trust okay they have they also have the uh, appropriate trust okay they trust people it's not that they don't trust people at all at the same time they have high self esteem as well okay so what happens they both it's both is high so they 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 are appropriate whenever there is a time where it's when they want to say no they'll say no okay so whenever they want to have a, a good uh, uh, they wanted to have a good close relationship they'll have but Uh, they'll also say no when the time arises okay so we'll see some of the characteristics of rigid porous and healthy boundaries so when it comes to rigid boundaries they avoid intimacy they don't want any intimate relationship whereas when it comes to porous boundaries they uh, overshare personal information in order to be intimate to a person in order to be friendly with the person they sh- overshare information okay they share every personal information about them whereas when it comes to healthy boundaries they have they value their own opinions okay they so they don't go over the board in order to um, uh, be intimate with a the person they just uh, have a close relationship with whomever they want to okay so next one they don't ask for help so rigid people they don't ask for help okay uh, i i will do everything on my own i don't want to ask help to others whereas porous people they have difficulty saying no when someone asks for help okay so what whoever ask for help they'll say yes okay they'll say yes to everything and when it comes to healthy boundaries they don't compromise the values for others for example a friend is asking money for me and he has been asking this again and again but a person with healthy boundaries what they'll do uh, they they'll realize they'll they'll know okay i have to say no this time because he's keep doing this again and again but people with porous boundaries they again give the money okay because they don't want to uh, they don't want their friend to feel bad or something like that okay or they don't want their friend to reject them so they'll just give away the money whereas healthy boundary people they know okay this is the limit so my friend is trying to exploit me i'm going to say no so this is the healthy boundary and next one is they doesn't involve in others problems at all okay so uh, uh yeah so they doesn't involve in others problem at all they just they are uh, very self focused whereas people with porous boundaries they are over involved in others problem they want to know each and every details in others problems and all that and when it comes to healthy boundaries they share appropriate information okay whenever uh, an appropriate whenever an information is re- received by them they'll just process or whatever is required at a particular time they'll just share it or when a opinion is asked to them they'll just give an opinion about that okay so next one this they may feel detached even with uh, romantic partners even with intimate relationship they feel detached uh, the people with rigid boundaries they feel det- detached whereas people with po- porous boundaries they accept uh, even abuse okay or disrespect even if their partners abuse them or disrespect them they just accept it okay so that is what porous people do and next one is healthy boundaries so they know personal needs and uh, can communicate them so they know when to they know what is their needs and they'll 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 communicate it with their partners whenever the need arises so next last one it keeps others at a distance to avoid re- rejection so they fear rejection like uh rigid people they don't they'll keep every people at a distance okay i'll keep them in the distance whereas porous boundaries people they fear rejection uh so they'll do whatever they want in order to gain the acceptance of others whereas healthy people they accept when others they know also okay they'll be able to understand and accept when others reject them or others uh, say no okay so these are the characteristics of rigid porous and healthy boundaries yes we'll move on so when these these are these three uh, um uh, type of people right 
characteristics of three types of people so we cannot say that okay this type of piece uh, so i am this type of people or uh, i am this type of person or i am this type of person we cannot say because uh, like most people know we have the mix of different boundaries okay like uh, we have sometimes we may have rigid boundaries and sometimes we may have uh, porous boundaries so we may have a mix of all these boundaries okay so uh, the appropriateness of boundaries it depends on the setting and also it depends on the person so what setting you are maybe i may be very rigid in my workplace okay maybe i'm i'm a very rigid person when it comes to a workplace but when it comes to my relationship i may be a very porous person okay but when it comes to my friends i may be a very healthy person okay a healthy a boundary person so it it depends on uh, the person whom i'm interacting and what kind of setting i am in so these uh, these influences what kind of uh boundaries i have okay yes we'll move on we'll move on ma'am next slide okay so next we'll see the types of boundaries okay so we'll have different types of boundaries so we'll see what are the different types we have okay so first one is a physical boundary next uh, intellectual boundaries emotional boundaries sexual boundaries material boundaries and time boundaries okay so we'll move on we'll see one by one okay so when it first one is a physical boundary so i think we'll all we are all aware of this physical boundaries right so it refers to the personal space or physical touch okay so uh, it's it's all about the physical touch or the personal space okay so uh, physical boundaries may be violated if someone touches you when you don't want them to or when they invade your personal space okay so it may be like invading my personal space like uh, sneaking into my bedroom or sneaking into my personal things okay or it may be like uh, touching me when when it's not when i'm not uh, uh, aware of or uh, hitting a person okay or for fun sometimes we do uh, hurt our friends like we, i mean hurting in the sense we just uh, jump over them or do something physically right we do something which may be hurting for them but we we are not aware of that maybe the person doesn't like that okay so these are the physical boundaries we have to understand and accept other person's boundary as well okay so can you all give an example of physical boundaries can you give some examples like of physical boundaries i remember it's like it's in a flat i was uh, sitting next to you know this chair occupied her space so this chair was really uh, upset that uh, you know the other chair took over her space okay okay thank you okay um any other i was uh, it was a little bit uh, unclear for me i couldn't hear the uh, voice clearly sorry for that i don't know if it is my problem taking somebody's things without permission okay uh, yeah um does passing on an inappropriate comment on physical appearance fall under this category that can be an emotional thing as well right so if uh, uh, yeah touched by a stranger okay when someone passes a it can be a sexual uh, uh, sexual uh, boundary or it can be the boundary as well okay emotional boundary when when we try to hurt the feelings of others then it may come under the feeling uh, or emotional boundary or a sexual boundary yeah touched by stranger yes yeah thank you we'll move to the next slide next slide ma'am so when it comes to personal boundaries like physical boundaries i would like to talk about the different zones okay like different zones or proximities okay so when it comes to proximities like we'll see like from us if there is like nearly 12 to 24 feet from away from us okay so that we called as public distance okay so public distance is when we interact uh, we, when there is a politician okay they, he is giving a speech or when there is a stage someone talk, addressing the people in a stage or celebrities performing or something like that that distance we have between uh, each of us okay like the the 12 to 25 feet Uh, from us so that is called as a public distance so next one is a social distance we so say you know like covid time we need to maintain the social distance with all right so this social distance is from like uh, from 8 feet with the nurse like from us it's 8 feet with uh, far from us so social distancing is where we interact with any social uh, 
uh, interactions like colleagues or with our shopkeepers or any social interaction we do right and next one is the personal distance so personal distance is like four feet away from us okay so personal distance is any personal person who have any personal interaction with us it may be our family member or it may be our friends or it may be our classmates or it may be our teacher okay so anyone comes under this personal distance and next one is the intimate space or the intimate distance okay so this is a intimate space for it's for myself right it's for me okay so uh, it's it's very it, it's it's my private space okay so only who are very close to me very close friends or my partner okay so they, only they are uh, they are in my in this uh, intimate distance okay so when any person who has to be there in the public distance or a social distance when they enter intimate distance or when a person in a personal distance they enter a intimate distance or imagine your boss okay you imagine your uh, your boss or a manager okay uh, he 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 just in a in a way to encourage you he's just touching you okay he's just patting your shoulders which you are not comfortable with okay he should he's supposed to be in a social distance or he's supposed to be in a personal distance but he is entering your first intimate space it creates a con- kind of uncomfortable uh, sensation right so when people they go beyond their uh, their proximal zones okay so that time it creates a kind of uneasy or un- or uncomfortable situation okay so we have to be aware of this like we have to aware of other we have to be aware of other people's uh, zones like proximal zones as well yes we'll move on we'll move on now next we'll talk about the intellectual boundaries okay so intellectual boundaries refers to the thoughts and ideas okay so it's just the thoughts it's our ideas okay so intellectual boundaries are violated when someone disagrees or belittles another person's uh, thoughts or ideas so when i put down someone else okay i say no no your uh, your idea is not good okay why you're sharing this it's not even worth it your idea is waste it's not even good okay when i when i when i disregard or when i when i put them down okay when i put others ideas down it is called as intellectual boundaries okay or when someone else does this to us okay you are always boring if someone says your ideas are boring or your plans are very boring so if they do that no then it it's called as intellectual boundary so each one of us has to respect the other person's ideas and other person's um, uh, thought okay so when we don't do that then we violate the intellectual boundaries okay yes we'll move on next one is the emotional boundaries yeah we'll move on now yeah emotional boundaries refers to a person's feeling okay so there comes what uh, ma'am asked right so when we give a comment on others okay it may be based on a physical appearance or it can be based on anything else we just give a a uh, give a comment to others okay something we do in order to hurt someone else feeling so that comes under the emotional boundaries okay so emotional boundaries are violated when someone criticizes or invalidates another person's feelings okay it can be anything whatever i do which affects a person's feeling so that comes under the emotional boundary so i need not i should not violate the emotional boundaries of a person or i should not allow others to enter my emotional boundary as well so i i may be sensitive in something okay so some sometimes people used to say idu thana sonna ye idukla serious a eduthukra this is just for fun or people use all these words right it's just for fun why do you take it seriously it's only you who takes it seriously okay just don't put all this thing to your mind so it's your right okay you you are you have the right to um, express your feeling right so i feel bad when someone says like this okay it's nothing wrong in telling that and it's nothing wrong in protecting yourself from people violating your emotional boundaries okay so we'll move on yes we'll move on now yes so next one is a sexual boundaries so sexual boundaries refers to the emotional intellectual and physical aspects of sexuality so it can be any uh, sexual uh, oriented thoughts or it may be a sexual oriented act or it may be a, um, hurting someone regarding their sexual uh, feeling or anything like that comes under the sexual boundaries okay so this boundaries can be violated with unwanted uh, sexual touches or pressures to engage in sexual acts or sexual comments okay so it's like a mutual understanding if even if it is a husband or even if it is a wife okay we need to respect and we need to mutually understand each other's the uh, um, each other's boundaries right like each other's interest and each other's ideas about sexuality right so there should be a mutual understanding when it comes to sexual relationship as well so once 
people uh, uh, force the other person for a sexual activity or when they uh, when they, they when they pass on sexual comments which is hurting someone everything falls under the sexual boundary okay yes we'll move on next one is the materialistic boundaries or material boundaries okay it comes to the things uh, the the materialistic things like money and possessions and things okay my my phone or something like that okay my cars something like that okay so materialistic boundaries are violated when someone steals or damages other person's possessions or when they pressure them to give or lend them their possessions okay so it's like when people start exploiting you in terms of the materialistic things okay they start to ask you um, for money often so one time they ask for you uh, ask for money okay you gave them another time they don't return it back okay so again they ask for money you again give them the money the same thing continues again and again okay so it also the materialistic things it also depends on the person right you won't give uh, give a car or you won't lend a car to a person who, whom you meet uh, whom, whom you met today morning or uh, very recently right so it depends on the person okay and it also depends on the things like how often they are doing that so uh, so we should not allow others to exploit us in terms of the materialistic uh, aspects as well and we should not uh, violate other person's materialistic boundaries as well yes we'll move on yes so finally this is time boundaries okay so time is also like exploiting other person's time is also a boundary issue okay violation of boundary okay so it refers to how people use their time okay so like sometimes what we do we just call our friends we just waste our time talk hours and hours with them okay sometimes they just have something important to do or they want to prepare for the exam or they want they have something important to do the next but what we do we keep on talking we we just keep talking and we never let them go right we don't realize it we are not doing it uh, purposefully or some do it purposefully as well and some say exam dana paathukala study in the morning or we'll see afterwards okay all these kind of things the friends say and they just uh, want to have a fun time they just don't care about what the other person is going through right so time boundaries are violated when one person demands too much of time of another person okay so this is what is time boundary so we should not allow other person to violate our time boundaries to waste our time as well okay when we we have to we have to learn to say no when other person is like taking too much of our time and we have something important to do okay some people could not say that okay some people will, will not be able to say no okay and we should also understand the other person's time value of time as well so that is time boundary so these are the different yeah we'll move on now so these are the different boundaries types of boundaries we are having okay so let's see some of the benefits of healthy boundary so what are the benefits we are gaining if we maintain all the boundaries okay so first one is we have high self esteem and self respect once we have a good um, maintain a good healthy uh, healthy boundary then we'll have a high self esteem and uh, high self respect okay okay i i respect myself i have a good feeling when i respect myself right so i get that and then i share personal information gradually i don't share when when i see a person i don't share everything update on this part i don't share everything it will be a gradual process okay as a relationship grows i um i i, I gradually according to the re- relationship or according to the context i just share about my personal information and i also protect for physical and emotional space from intrusion okay and i will not other any intrusion about my personal space or my emotional space and i'll be assertive okay i'll say i'll i know when to say no and i'll know when to put a gate okay so next one is separating your wants and needs and feelings from others sometimes what we do it won't be your thoughts won't be your needs but what we do we just say yes because it's other person's need okay most of the people do that right uh, my uh, like we going on over the board like this is my friend's wish okay so this so we assume that this is our wish too or we assume that this is my need too okay we we know we need not we don't know how to separate our wish and how uh, and and our needs with that of others okay so once we have a healthy boundary we'll be able to see okay this is my wish this is what i have to do and this person is influencing me to do what he or she wants them wants me to do okay so that is the separation of uh, this thing and next one is good mental health i'll be able to maintain a good mental health and making healthy choices and take responsibility for yourself 
so i'll be able to once i maintain my healthy boundary no i'll be able to make healthy choices for myself and i'll be able to take responsibility for all my choices okay so the choice won't be because my father said so or my mother said so or my friend told me to do this so that is why i did so it won't be like that once i have a healthy boundary it's it's a decision based on my own self and uh, my own uh, values okay so these are the benefits of healthy boundaries so if i don't have boundaries at all okay then what what will happen people start to exploit me and people start to use me they just uh, take money from me or they'll just take whatever they want from me they'll just take time they just time pass with me and all that right so only because of me i am allowing people to enter my boundary so it's me who has to uh, safeguard myself so it's in my hands okay yes next slide so we'll also see the boundaries in relationship boundaries in profession so when it comes to boundaries in relationship there is there should be boundaries within parents and child as well so it can be any bound any relationship there is there should be boundaries okay like when it comes to parents the parents should not indulge much with the children's thing like they sh- there should be some boundary right like uh, uh, like reading the ch- child's diary or um, each and everything because you are my child I'll, I'll i am responsible for you i am your owner okay so that kind of or attitude parents should not have okay there should be a boundary in every aspect in every relationship so the parents should have boundary with their children and the children even they should have the boundary within their parents they should not take advantage okay it's my parents money i'll take my money from my father's pocket or my from my mother's wallet okay they should there should be some boundaries within the parent and child relationship as well and uh, next one is the romantic relationship so even if it is a husband or it is a wife or a romantic relationship so there should be boundaries okay each one's values and each one's opinions and choices has to be accepted and has to be understood by each other next one is relationship with friends okay yeah with friends as well friends sometimes what we do this is my friend i uh, whatever i do my friend will not take me wrongly okay so i will do whatever i want whatever uh, because he is my friend i'll do i'll take advantage okay i need not ask permission from you because you are my best friend i need not ask permission from you so all these things should not be there so uh, we have to ask permission whatever is this we have to ask permission so next when it comes to boundaries in profession it can be a teacher student relationship or it can be work life balance there is no boundary like when there is uh, first we see teacher student relationship all our teachers have a boundaries right they they're not very open with their personal life or they'll not share their personal stories with the students or there is a boundary which they they they'll maintain with the students right that may be for several reasons but they maintain a boundary with the students right and they also uh, work life balance sometimes there should be boundary within the work life and the uh, and the personal life if there is no boundary between two then both will get collided right so there won't be a proper uh, balance in life okay so work life balance is also maintaining a good boundary uh, next one is employee employer relationship okay it can be an uh, your relationship with your employer there should be a certain boundary with them and also co-worker relationship so what kind of boundary you have with the co-workers okay it's like sometimes people they give you over, they they just they just dump you with work they just they just ask for help okay enak inda help mattu pannunga and help mattu panirunga idhu idhu sendu panniringala they just put lot of requests in you or lot of favors from you okay which which may be overwhelming for you so it's 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 very important to have a boundary with your co-workers as well okay it doesn't mean you should not be friendly with them or you should not have any kind of contact with them or something like that it's just learning to say no when the time arises so that's it so next when it comes to professional boundaries so professional boundaries in the sense we have legal ethical and organizational frameworks that protects both clients and employees from physical and emotional harm so when when it comes to a professional setup we have to think about the legal aspects as well okay so there are certain legal boundaries or legal restrictions which are there and there are some ethical for our profession we have as a counselors we have a certain ethics and we have a profession like we have a professional ethics right it like so uh, for every profession there is a ethics so uh, there is some legal restrictions ethical uh, boundaries are there and then the organizational framework so what kind of policy the organization has okay so all this has to be kept in mind okay so when it comes to a professional boundaries okay so this boundary helps to maintain a safe, safe working environment so above all this uh, above the all the boundaries keeping 
these things aspects in mind also helps us to have a safe and uh, uh and healthy work environment okay so we may situation we may face situations such as uh, uh customers or clients offering some gifts okay they want to gift you something or they may invite you to a social function to their marriage or i'm not saying this is wrong but where where is the line okay so that is what i'm trying to create an awareness in so they invite you to social functions or they wants to extend the relationship beyond okay they want to be friends with you they want to have a um uh, have a coffee with you or they want to go out with you okay they give too much they gives or demands too much personal information sometimes they tell lot of personal information which you don't need okay or which you are not interested in or sometimes they ask for a lot of personal information from you okay so all this when something like this happens so the individual has to keep in mind about their role so what is the role and what what are you expected to do with that client okay so what is your role so what is the ethical principle which i should have in my mind and what is the organizational policies and code of conduct which i have to so follow so all these things i have to keep in mind so if we follow all this we'll be able to maintain a healthy boundary in a workplace setup okay yes so we'll move on now. next slide yes so now i'll just tell you the uh, tips the previous slide yes so i'll say some uh, some of the tips to maintain healthy boundaries so it may be professional or social boundaries okay so i mean professional or personal boundaries so i'll just tell you the 3 a okay so triple a in uh, boundary management so first one is being aware okay in order to uh, maintain a healthy boundary first we have to be aware of okay what i like and what i dislike okay sometimes we allow people to hurt us and then we'll feel guilty for that so first we have to be aware and we have to be know what is uh, what is good for me or what i'm liking and what i don't like so this is my value or once i violate this value i'm feeling very guilty so i should not do this again so i should be very clear and i should be very aware of my own self okay so that that is the first thing so next one is being assertive okay so being assertive is saying no okay like saying no when the time arises it's not like uh, it's not like being aggressive okay like when we are responding to someone we have three different types of responses right like i hope many of you knows that it's like passive response irukku as a response is saying whatever they want we are accepting them accepting we are being very soft and we are accepting whatever demands are asked or whatever question is asked they just saying yes and it's like a, a assertive response is there okay whatever uh, i'll just say aggressive response so aggressive response is there i am being very aggressive i am i'm using harsh words i'm just saying no na uh, no on the day i'm telling in a very bad way okay no means no under that i'm telling in a very strict rude manner okay but being assertive is being in middle of both okay i'm not being uh, very lenient as well i'm not being very strict as well i'm just being in the middle i'm saying no in a polite manner i'm just oh, sharing my feeling i'm just sharing my opinion in a in a appropriate manner so that is assertiveness so second one is being assertive and third one is to ask for help okay so when sometimes people may be physically uh, violating our boundaries and sometimes we may not be able to um, control that okay we may not have control over that or uh, it's out of your control that time you may ask help okay you may have asked from help from others it may be a friend or it may be a therapist or it may be other relatives okay so you can ask or if if someone violates your personal boundaries in roads or in a street you can even help ask help from your strangers right so when you are not able to manage or when you are not able to control the uh, people violating your boundaries then you can always ask for help yes next one next one ma'am so is boundaries just for me okay so when it comes to boundaries uh is boundaries just for me only i have boundaries what uh, do i have boundaries alone no right even the others have boundaries right even people who i am interacting with on a daily basis even they have their own set of boundaries okay so i should be able to uh, i should be able to look at, at, at that perspective okay i have my own boundaries at the same time i should be able to accept other person's boundaries okay so yes next one so you know in a tip to manage okay a trip to 
uh, understand others or in order to uh, accept the others boundary is empathy okay like trying to understand from their point of view once we try to understand their point of view and what they would be feeling when we do something to them then we'll be able to understand their boundaries and we'll not be violating other people's boundary as well so when it comes to healthy boundaries we have to look we have to take care of both the aspects right we should not violate others boundaries and we should not let others to violate our boundaries so these are two like self respect we say you know give respect take respect right there is a that's like a two way street the same way it's like healthy boundaries is also a two way process like you have to understand others you have to uh, you you should not violate others boundaries and you should not let others to violate your boundaries so that is possible with empathy yes next one so this is the time for activities so i'll just uh, ask you a four or five sentence and you can put in the chat box whether it's a healthy or an unhealthy boundary and then you can say what type of boundary it is okay so with that we'll wind up so first one is touching a person without asking yes now it is unhealthy and physical physical boundary yes very good yeah thank you yes it's a unhealthy boundary okay so what we have to do we have to ask the person whatever whom our person is this even though they are the friends or even though they are anyone else we have to ask permission before touching others okay so next one allowing someone to take as much as they want from you allowing someone to take as much as they want from you material yes. boundary yes material boundaries yes very good yes and it's a unhealthy boundary as well yes very good thank you so we should not allow others to take advantage of our generosity right uh, like only because we are giving it doesn't mean we are a fool or something like that we should not al allow others to exploit us so that is the reason we are that okay so next one accepting gifts you do not want it's a submissive behavior material boundary sorry it's a submissive behavior sorry i couldn't hear you properly uh, he says it's a submissive behavior submissive okay okay fine something you don't want to do but you are doing uh, just because others should not get get angry or upset with you yes yes so it is a unhealthy behavior right in unhealthy boundaries yes so again the third one what does it, what kind of uh, boundary violation it is professional materialistic boundary yes materialistic boundary is right okay again there is something related to gift right something related to a material or a product right so you are accepting things which you do not want so basically it's a thing which comes under materialistic boundaries yes so fourth one accepting and listening to others point of view empathy even yes healthy very good so what kind of boundary is this it is empathy it is it's healthy boundary and it is also yes emotional okay you are correct okay and you're also trying to listen to others point of view you are trying to listen to others view points or ideas or thoughts which comes under the intellectual boundaries as well okay so yes thank you and next last one talking to someone over phone for hours together even after they say i have my exams tomorrow time boundary yes time boundary and whether it's uh, healthy or unhealthy 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 yes very good yes yes so thank you very much thank you for being very uh, interactive thank you very much yes so you have any doubts or anything you can ask me yes thank you very much uh, padvi ma'am uh, it was a very nice wonderful presentation now it's a question answer session but yes. you can unmute yourself and you can ask the question or you can put in the chat box
you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Salim sir said uh, this is time for uh, question and answer, and uh, please ask your questions by unmuting your mics or put your questions in the chat box. We can take up some quick questions and then wind up the session. Thank you very much. Sadhvi, uh, I would like to ask you regarding professional boundaries. Uh, okay. Usually, we okay. tend to exploit uh, workers, uh, be it with time, overtime working, uh, be it with uh, physically abusive. So, in reality, how do you think we can manage these sort of things? Labor laws are there, but still these sort of things persist, right? So yeah, yeah. How can they so maintain I, the? Uh, so, yeah. So I feel that it's all about uh, choice, right? It's your self choice. Like even though there is a lot of uh, uh, labor laws and all that, it's you who are doing that, right? It's your own uh, choice and it's your own decision, right? Like people who are uh, engaging in such things, like overtime and all, they are doing it. Uh, with their own complete awareness okay so that is the whole point they are willing to do that right so that is where the line they are uh, willing to violate their own boundaries for whatever reasons it may be so it can be their own personal constraints or it may be their financial aspects or it can be their family or uh, things there may be a lot of factors which may influence that but that is again the choice goes to the employee individual employee it's the individual choice so that's my opinion regarding this. So if others have any uh, anything to add on, surely you can add on to that point. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, uh, Mrs. Sadhvi. And we have a couple of questions in the chat box. Can I okay. read that for you? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so um, due to COVID lockdown, kids fail to understand need for parents' private me time in spite of continuous explanation how to be more firm. Okay, yes, like you can be assertive, you can lay, you can tell the uh, rules and regulations. There are certain boundary issues like due to uh, COVID, there are certain boundary issues which is coming up between the parents and the children. Okay, the children fail to recognize that, okay, parents need a, a me time as well. But when you can, it's in it's in your hands. You can take a me time as well. Like you can, uh, uh, you can ask for help. Okay, when you want a help, uh, when you want some help from others, you can uh, ask for help, or you can try explaining them. Okay, you can be more assertive. You can give appropriate rules. Okay, so this is a time when um, mommy is going to play with you, or this is a time when I'll be spending time with you. So this is a time when you should not uh, uh, disturb. Uh, mommy, I have this kind of work. So we can we can explain them that you have certain works, and these are the times when you will you will spend time. So maintain a schedule. Like let them know that this is a shed. Like this is a schedule. Like this is a time when you can spend more time with them. Okay. So it's not that you you have to strictly follow the time or something like that. But still, if once they know, okay, this is a time I, my mother will also spend time with me. Once they get a uh, get a thing like that, then they'll be more accepting of the mother's private time as well, right? So I think, yes. Yeah. So being assertive and lean, uh, and uh, playing a more uh, a more a more clear rules, okay, that could help. And so, and also we can ask help, like maybe with our relative. Sometimes we may feel overwhelmed or. Uh, we may, we may, even we need time, okay, even mothers, being a mother is like a 24 bar 7 job, okay, so even we need time for that, so we can ask help from others, uh, or we can help, uh, ask help from a husband, or we can ask help from a friend, or from grandparents, or someone, you can take some me time, okay, so that can be done. Challenges in managing healthy boundaries in adolescent age. Yes, there are uh, um, there are many challenges when it comes to because when it comes to uh, uh, adolescent 
uh, adolescent or relationship with friends or something they themselves doesn't know they don't want to ma- like maintain any boundaries right they are very uh, so that is a stage where they are more focused on their friends and they want they are uh, their friends are more important than parents okay uh, they want to share each and everything with their friends they are more close with their friends right so they don't they themselves don't want to have any kind of boundary or they don't they feel comfortable being without boundaries to their friends so that is itself as a challenge but once as they as they grow up grow old they'll start uh, respecting their own boundaries so there is a lot of chances of exploitation of boundaries during the adolescent stages yes thank you so much uh, mr sadvi and there are more, no more questions in the chat box and i appreciate your holistic holistic perspective of uh, you know explanation in maintaining healthy boundaries in life in every walk of our lives thank you so much and now i request uh, dr salim one of our core team members uh, to give uh, one of our to you on behalf of all of us thank you dr sadra ma'am uh, it's my pleasure to give the vote of thanks today so it was a very nice wonderful presentation by the sadvi ma'am about the boundaries and really ma'am you covered all the dimensions of the boundaries like types of boundaries and uh, benefits of the boundaries of course on the activities uh, everybody understand uh, like which one is physical activity which one is emotional and somebody asked it is related to professional or material uh, coming to the point of uh, giving the gift so somebody assessed this uh, professional somebody said it's a material so that means everybody understand uh, what you are going to what you are said so it was a very nice wonderful presentation and uh, you linked with the types of people with the boundaries and and uh, the very important point is in coming to the personal distance uh, you mentioned clearly the four feet away from the uh, persons so it is um, a very um, important point to know that everybody should know how to maintain the distance as i said we have to maintain the empathy also uh, so we have to maintain the distance four feet away uh, to maintain the we should not enter some other uh, space and uh, uh particularly professional boundaries everybody should know who are working because uh, unnecessarily accepting the gift or uh, accepting the event or whatever to going with the dinner or some definitely it will lead to the violation of the professional boundaries it is uh, unusual ethics also it will uh, um, uh, what i can say uh, it will uh, destroy our uh, professional uh, life or uh, career or whatever so uh, it's a very important point to know that and uh, of course uh, healthy boundaries are the limits and the rules we set for ourselves within the relationship so it was a very nice wonderful uh, delivery and presentation ma'am uh, thank you on the on behalf of uh, um, i think uh, you are one of our uh, sponsor ms selam institute so uh, double thanks to you so we would like to um, uh, uh thank you on behalf of american college madurai and ms chelamuthi institute madurai and red point educational psychological research center madurai and the metro school of social work chennai and the psycho oncology classes is in turkey uh thank you very much from to have uh, we had uh, as a resource person uh, today so uh, thank you we believe that all the participant learned more uh, from your speech thank you participant and uh, thank you sadhvi thank you very much sir thank, thank you very you, much sir thank you sir Thank you, Chandra Ma'am and Suresh Kumar Sir, and thank you all the participants. Thank you. Thank you so much.